our goal has always been the same, to allow people to express themselves and create video games without having to code, without having to script or hire a programmer, to enable designers and creators, makers and artists to create the worlds they see themselves. It's interesting to see the no-code movement starting to take off. This has been a vision with BuildBox since the very beginning. Since we actually started creating software even before BuildBox, our focus has always been on creating software that would allow anyone to make a video game and not restrict people just to coders and developers, but allow anyone who had an idea, an artist, a maker, a creator, or someone like me that just thought, hey, it would be cool to make a video game, but I don't know how to code, to actually enable them to be able to do that. With BuildBox, we had a much bigger vision from the very beginning. We wanted to create software that was totally limitless, that would allow anyone to create a video game, any type of game that they wanted. But the technology wasn't quite there, the community wasn't there, and we were still figuring it all out in the beginning. We had some pretty grand ideas, especially from Nick Rodinko, co-founder of BuildBox and our CTO. He had a really interesting idea on how to create games using mind map bubbles called nodes. This has been done before, but not in the way that he envisioned. Before working on Billbox, I used to work with 3D content software. I used to be a 3D modeler, animator, texture, you name it. And it was pretty common there to use node-based system. I was looking how I can bring these nodes into video games. And I look around, there's some software already doing it, but the problem is they're doing so low level, so small, and those nodes, they're hard to work with because to create a decent result, you need 20, 30, 40 nodes to combine together. And that's create a huge, massive network that it's really hard to work with. So what we came up with with BuildBox 3 is to make those nodes do more things. They're more higher level, and that means you need less nodes to create more rich experience. So we think this development of using nodes in this way to create games is going to change the landscape of game design. And it's going to open the doors for many people like myself who don't know how to code to create truly amazing games. Things that we've never even imagined possible with our software. We're already seeing that even in the early beta phase. Now, if you want to create your own nodes, that's also possible using low code. It's completely optional, but we wanted a community to be able to expand the software as they see. We wanted to create something that was beyond just what we code at the BuildBox offices, but let people out there who do know how to code actually expand on our ideas. And that's what we've done with BuildBox 3. So now it's here, now it's finished. We've actually been able to create the software we wanted to from the very beginning. And we look at it as BuildBox's journey really starts now. And we have an amazing community who can even expand upon what we've made if they want to. We're really excited to see what you create with BuildBox 3. The framework's there, the software's ready. We can't wait to release it soon to the world.